And the cold snap continues in episode 9 of Let's Play RimWorld. And it's actually mirroring the real world. Right outside, it's snowing in London for the first time this winter. It's really freezing out there and nasty. Um, meanwhile, in, in our colony, snow is on the ground. Our crops are all dead. Um, and I've, do, I've been doing a few things um, over the last day. The very, very uneventful day. I've been showing up our defences just a little. Um, this <laughs> these are all sandbags to be. I've decided that people can only, all these raiders, will only be able to get in one way via this wonderful little zigzaggy thing. And here I'm building a little bunker. Um, it's not finished yet because they gave up and did something else. Yes. Um, but that, once that's done, that's going to be dark. They're gonna, my colonists are going to be able to sit in the dark here and shoot over the sandbags at anyone who dares to turn up. In fact, what's the thing about it? I'm going to slow anyone's progress by putting in additional sandbags. I'm going to deconstruct these doors and replace them with walls. And also this one up here, because this this door, its entire function is to be beaten down by raiders and nothing else. It's rather annoying. Um, I've also started building a bonus extension onto the, the cold room. This is going to be the corpse room. Um, because at the moment they're just chucking the corpses up here somewhere, um, which is no good because I really want to butcher stuff. I really um, at the moment I've I've designated, oh my god, <laughs> I've designated this as my killarium. Um, all this stuff is going to be um, for skinning. I'm going to kill these guys and skin them and turn them into warm clothes. And we've also got a bit of um, I think it's alpaca wool um, here. Oh, yes, alpaca wool which fell from the sky, and so we're all pretty much ready to go. Um, we just need to, we just need these bloody clothes to be made so we can actually warm up. Um, winter is in six, seven days time. God damn it. Uh, meanwhile, Wide Awake is still trying to establish a rapport with Paul, trying to recruit her for our colony. Try to build rapport, try to build rapport. Um, let's see if this is um, giving us any indication. Um, just basically listen to him. Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Look, listen to recruitment pitch from Wide Awake. Paul rejected the offer. So, not going well so far. We'll have to wait. Oh, well, what's that? Oh, no, we just got rejected again. Meanwhile, I'm Great has turned up. Ah, finally. Yes, we're, I'm, I'm, build, I'm basically knocking this stuff out. We do need some more space um, to actually put new, new things and all that. Not quite sure exactly what I'm going to put in here, to be honest. But it'd be good to have the space. To be honest, I might as well use like use all this as actual colony stuff, mind I? Because otherwise, it's going spare, and it does lie um, behind the wall, the Great Wall. Well, it's a terrible wall, actually. It's made of wood and probably will burn. So I've been trying to learn a bit more about combat and stuff because I'm aware I usually just um, panic like a madman. And um, I've realised, or have read that um, I haven't really been using cover. I think people in the comments may have mentioned stuff like this. Um, I do need to make sure that there is cover so bullets can't find me as easily. Um, hence why I want a nice dark bunker. But also I need to position people when they're shooting kind of like next to walls and things like that. So one in the comments um, a while ago did suggest um, that I use the swamp to my advantage, like chuck stones in the swamp so you can't, so people can't cross it. Um, however, the swamp is absolutely massive, so I'm sure they'll always find a way out. Oh, huskies! That's good. They're going to join the colony. More mouths to feed. However, that might be useful. I don't know if huskies can act as pack animals. Probably not. Um, but it will be good to tame them and become attack dogs. And because the dog, um, the whole dog thing, you're a husky. And you're, you're an arctic wolf. All right. Well, it's, it does seem like huskies are quite good at um, rushing at bastard raiders and taking care of them. So I think it might be Amazon's time to shine once more. Oh, good. Oh, Gitessa is using the, presumably, yep, there it is, alpaca wool to actually make ourselves jackets. So we may actually get ourselves a full set of clothes by the time uh, winter sets in. Hmm, only Dabaru is doing research at the moment, uh, which is annoying. So we're currently doing electricity, um, but that's taken a while. We're coming on with it, though. Um, and that'll um, unlock all this stuff like and um, power. We need solar panels, we need batteries, and maybe some more stuff as well. However, I also really want to concentrate on stone cutting, um, because that's quite a simple thing. And it will allow us to do things like make new melee weapons and all that sort of stuff, as well as make walls that aren't out of bloody flammable wood. Uh, at the moment, I really kind of do maybe need a... Um, to reorganise this place, don't... Oh, Paul's... God damn it. Okay. 
Can I reinstall there? Yes, I can. Um, then I'll actually, I'll get to work with this. Oh, there we go. That was that was very that was very successful. Um, this is probably a bad idea. Oh, you can still go through there, can't you? Yes. I was going to say I thought I've just trapped him in, but I haven't. Paul, no, 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 no. You're not allowed. <laughs> I've just um, given them a quite a good way to escape. Um, not ideal. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Pause. Pause. No. Oh, god damn it. No, hang on, this is silly. This is silly. Um, cancel. Yeah. And for now, let's put in a crafty a bonus door. And, yeah, quickly put put it in before Paul escapes. Oh, do some here. There we go, great. I'm great, there we go. And there we go. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit piss. Um, that was a, a bit dumb. I was being a bit premature. There, now Paul is again um, um, trapped. However, we are basically tunnelling out on his behalf at the moment. <laughs> Go on, old Gitessa. Be social with Paul. Ugh. Call me crazy. But um, I reckon the cold snap is about to stop. And because I've been watching the, um, the, the temperature outside, and it's almost at minus... It's almost at zero. And for the first time in ages. Uh, unless I haven't just been noticing it. But I reckon, I reckon we're on our way. I think we're on our way to it being incredibly warm for about six days. <laughs> and then it's going to be winter. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Olgi Tester's clothing stuff at the moment is going to be incredibly useful. Let's see how many bills I've got left on the old thing. Oh! Missed. <laughs> missed the button. Still need to make five... Oh, still haven't actually made one single jacket yet. There seems to be a lot of work to be done. 48. 47. 46. That's really slow going, isn't it? Maybe I should build another bench. Um, because I've, I've got um, Amazon now as a tailor as well. Uh, how much is a bench? Let's have a look. Because we do need to do this quite soon. Uh, 75 wood, that's nothing. Um, and it's also still within range of the tool cabinet. But it will get in the way of things a bit, won't it? Um, we could put it there. A bit stupid, but... Huh, why not? And there we go, the cold snap is now officially over. Uh, which is good. Um, unfortunately, I think we won't be able to do any more planting this year. Um, where would that be? Um, world, maybe? Let's have a look. Terrain. And growing period. Oh, the growing period is, um, is actually three, finished three days ago. <laughs> Ugh, alright. Um, well... To be honest, I, mean, I don't think um, all uh, those plants that we originally had would have actually survived. We might have, we'd have got a couple of crops, but not all of them. Huh. So at some point I do, before we actually send out a great big caravan to actually um, recover that um, hidden spaceship, I do want to send out maybe a caravan of trade. Um, possibly as an experiment, but also to, to, uh, to earn more money. Trouble is, we just don't have any uh, anything of real decent stuff to um, trade at the moment. We're still really behind in our research, of which I can't help but noticing nobody's doing any of. Dabaru, oh, Dabaru is just tossing. Oh, Gites is doing the important stuff, uh, making that. I'm great. Is oh, I'm great, and Amazon are doing the hauling and the mining. Um, this is probably bloody useless. This. Let's get rid of all that. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll. Mm, I think I just have to bite the bullet and make it to speed things up and get this done. I wish, I wish Paul would get back into bloody bed so I can seal this off. This is making the whole thing look silly. Yeah, get back. Oh, there we go. Right. Um, structure. Wall. Unfortunately, everyone... Ooh, can old Gitessa do any... Oh. I haven't got any material. I haven't got any wood. Oh, toss. Oh, Paul's fucking off again. Oh, cancel. Someone needs to do some plant cutting. Who cuts plants? Just Dabaru. Huh. Well, you've gone to bed. God damn it. One thing I've been meaning to do, and totally forgetting, put down some animal sleeping spots. Um, because apparently, I'm not 100% sure about this, but apparently um, that's helpful for healing. Sassy has been attacked by a warg. Oh, god damn it, this has happened again! Those huskies that joined our tribe just like are just hanging out in the bottom right of the map, and that's it. 
How can we actually get the damn things to actually um, come to our place? Hmm. Could train them. It doesn't seem much point. Nah, I'm just gonna say, who gives a shit? God damn it. They joined, they joined a while ago. Sassy, well, Sassy has been torn to death. You know, they joined a while ago, and, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Muffalo! Well, so that means, has it, was it, all these elks then, have they been killed? And their hides brought back? That should have happened. Um, thrombo fur, panther skin, huh. Goat, I don't know. But we've got some muffalo. That'll be handy. Um, I think we should go and tame... Yeah, t go and tame these. Um, muffalo may attack upon a failed taming attempt. 0.5% chance. Um, I want to tame a bunch of these. Let's get four. Because they'll they'll go in our caravan and be pack animals. Which will be very useful. Um, still things aren't being built. So I think it's because I'm, I'm out of raw materials. So I do need to do more wood chopping. Make sure that the supply chain is... Not fucked. Um, I, don't, I can't remember who our bloody chopper is. Uh, let's chop some... Oh, just load, look at the amount of wood here. Yes. Alright. Oh, good, everyone's doing research. Um, other than the fact that they should be doing some constructing. Okay, let's have a look at who's doing what. Constructing. Amazon? Where's Amazon? Oh, Amazon's there. Wandering. Alright, who's the woodcutter? <laughs> Plant cut. Dabaru. Dabaru's doing research! Plant cut. Why aren't you bloody well cutting plants down? Hmm, am I still restricting people indoors? Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I forgot to unrestrict people. Oh. Right, everyone can actually go outside and do stuff now. Yeah, because um, when, when I built this, um, um, off camera, um, well, technically it was on camera, but fuck all happened, so, <laughs> so I ditched it. Um, yeah, I um, unrestricted the people and then restricted everyone again. Um, and now I just, yeah, I've, I've got tangled up in knots. Right, so Amazon is presumably going off to... What are you doing? Oh yeah, you're actually doing some taming. Yeah, unfortunately that really has to be done at some point. Dabaru is finally going to do some chopping with any luck. I don't need to do any harvesting. Although we've we definitely got less food than we used to because of this whole crop situation. And we've got all winter to do yet. Huh. But at least we might actually get some people doing some butchering and stuff like that. And unfortunately now nobody's doing any bloody research. Right, is it really 28 degrees in here? Uh, yeah, we'll leave the campfires. It, there might actually be too many. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to take one of the campfires away. And gather spot. Gather, colonists will gather around this object. Oh, how, how lovely. But no. We'll just have one, because I think it's a bit too warm here. Um, if it goes if it goes too cold again, I'll put it, put it back again. But for now, it might actually be too warm. Oh, meanwhile, the bloody tailoring benches actually have been taken care of. But it does occur to me... Does it, I actually don't know. Are the bills shared across tables? Apparently not. Okay, well, make jackets... We'll take that down to two, and we'll put it, make jacket, we put this up to two here. Um, so hopefully we will actually share out the duties if people are available. Although I've, I've just now given everyone loads of stuff to do, now I've actually unrestricted everything, so I mean, that might end up taking a bit of a back seat. Oh, we still haven't squared this circle over here, god damn it. Never mind. Manhunter pack? It's paused it. That's not good. A uh, pack of man-hunting elephants have entered the area. They will roam the region, hunting for humanoid flesh. Fuck, I've never seen this before. They can't pass doors, so if you stay behind walls, you should be safe. They won't attack inactive turrets. Yes, shut up, stop bloody flashing. So turn your turrets off if you want to save them. They'll leave the area in a few days. Now, not so much of a pack as our elephant. Was it Muffalo just rogue? Well, I could send everyone indoors. Um, hmm. Well, I think we've done all our construction, actually, which is rather handy. Um, so, what if, if so long as we actually do this, anyway. Um, if that happens, I can actually keep everyone indoors. And if all else fails, I can always make this into a, a dumping ground for things if we need to actually go outside and dump things. 
Um, this is actually technically not not exactly um, outside. This is outside, but it's, it is behind doors, so we will be safe if we go here. In fact, I could designate this in my inside area, couldn't I? So if I'm great, we'll just hurry up and build this. This will be handy. Right, zone area. Um, expand allowed areas inside. So this is now all going to be inside officially. This is going to be outside, I guess, because it's not behind a wall, or a door, I should say. Although technically, oh, that's fine, that's fine, yes, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. And I think it's now time to restrict everyone indoors. So get indoors so you're not gored by an elephant. There's only one of them. And it's gone. Where's it gone? Where's the elephant gone? Oh, it's there. Bloody hell, that was quick. All right. Uh, how... I mean, how strong are you? Well, we don't know, do we? So what's it going to do? Apart from go... Look at Paul. In restraints, wandering. Oh, why can't she be a, one of us? Oh, Dabaru. Oh, yes. Good old Dabaru. That's um, using my new special inside restrictions. She's allowed to do that. So that's good. We do need all those trees. Uh, we probably don't need these to be deconstructed, actually, for now. Let's just take that off, just in case they go rogue and deconstruct that when I don't want them to. Look at the elephant! Look at it! Haunting our fields! Um, there's really no need for to go outside at the moment, though. So that is quite handy. Um, still five days, six days until winter. And people are just going to bed now. Um, blissfully unaware about the elephant problem. I feel like I should kill it, but I don't really know... What for? Um, Dabaru and I'm great, both not too happy at the moment. But I don't think we're at major risk at the moment. In fact, look, the minor break risk just disappeared, so uh, that's good news. Right, so the Huskies have actually all turned up, I think. Um, I think this, well, two of them anyway. So I think it's now time to actually sort out some training. It'd be nice for this, well, it'd be nice for them all to do the what I consider to be the most important things for now. I'm um, hauling less. I don't really care that much about hauling right now. I don't really want to train the. What the fuck is that? Is that the cat? It's Frank. Ah! Ignore him. He's gonna kill me. Um, the rabbit or the hare? Make it obedient. <laughs> I doubt it. You really cannot train cats. Pricks. Ugh. You. Is that everything? Yeah, that'll do. Um, oh, hello. Actually, something good for once. A caravan from that place. Strong alliance is approaching. They are an exotic goods trader. They will hang around the colony. Uh, okay. Um, where is it? I really hope the elephants don't gore them all to death. When I say elephants, I mean elephant. There's only one. Actually, where are these elephants? Oh, the elephant is there. Okay. Well, I shall be intrigued to see what happens here. Let's make them go fast. They, they give two no shits about the fact that they're working over a frozen swamp, which is good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Careful. Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, the elephant has not uh, seen them. Uh, Dudley and Leia are going the long way around for some reason. Is that a boom elope? A boom rat? Gotta be careful of you. Um, okay, this is a problem. I don't really want them to be going over there. Uh, what's going to happen here? Yeah, the elephant is not happy. This... C oh! This could be interesting, actually. Huh. They're doing all my work for me. I hope they're not... F people don't... Oh, the boom rat, though. Oh! <laughs> well, fine. I hope they're not fleeing now. No, they're not. They're just moving. Right. So, that was bizarre. Uh, everyone's asleep. Oh, my... <laughs> I love the fact that my colonists are all just fast asleep. All this exciting stuff is happening. Oh god, the... Don't, don't run off. I think they're actually leaving. I think they might be leaving, which is really annoying. Because they had goods to trade. They had exotic stuff to trade. Uh, I think I might actually have to make this our home zone. Yeah, because it's not actually... Oh, hang on. Um, home. Oh, it is actually in there. So it is actually... It is actually a fire. Um... Can someone actually put this out, please? Fire is out. Outside allowed area. Oh, hang on. Restrict. Oh, I can actually... Now the elephant is dead. Yeah, there we go. We can all get up and actually do something! Thanks, I'm great. Oh, my lovely new structure. 
Uh, so the uh, the elephant will be, able to, we will be able to do something with rare elephant. What's that? No, it's a wooden floor that's incomplete. All right. Okay, Olgitess is helping out. Oh, actually, no, Olgitess has just fucked off. What did you actually do? Feeding fine meal to Paul. Oh, uh, well, yeah. All right. So just drop it on the ground. Um, nothing's too good for our prisoner, but also you can eat off the floor and ignore the meal. Uh, all right. That was peculiar. Okay, come on, lads. Um, beat it all out. We'll have to do a bit, of, a tiny bit of rebuilding, which is annoying. Oh, look at all this. <laughs> God damn it. Well, the, that's the bunker fucked, but never mind. Actually, what's that doing? What's that tree doing there? Sod off. Structure. And wall. Right, so we actually they actually lost a colonist. Rather unfortunate. So presumably they all they actually did leave in the end. Hmm. They didn't go and hide somewhere. No, the caravan's gone. Oh, well, I probably wouldn't be able to afford anything anyway because I've got 200 bloody silver and fuck all to trade. So it's not a huge loss. But still really irritating. But at least we got rid of the elephant, which was incredibly important, I guess. Uh, I suppose it let, let us go outside for a bit. Apparently everyone is actually availing themselves. Oh, um, so Davaru's doing some taming. So is Amazon. Wow, we're going to have um, Muffalo all over the shop. We're going we're gonna to need a bigger bloody animal area at this rate. Oh, okay, so here's, here's a good thing. And we can finally do that. Uh, let's try and actually sort that out. Squirrel self-tamed. Whoopty fucking shit. <sighs> what are these crap animals keep on taming themselves and joining our colony? It's not that easy to get into our colony. There are rules to follow and procedures. There's a form. And 1A. And we have to put your paw print in the bottom left. Oh, hello. Old Gitesa has actually tamed... Yeah, has actually done it. What? Oh, we, we've now got Muffalo 1. Which is a lot more preferable to hare one and squirrel one and ant one and all these other bloody bastards that keep on eating our stuff. We've got a limited amount of food and it's not even winter. Our oh, poor dead crops. Huh. Also, nobody's butchering our bloody stuff. Uh, wide awake is the um, is the cooksmith around here. Um, but apparently we need to do actually sort out some meals first. Hmm. Now, the muffalo that aren't going to be tamed, I'm going to shoot. Um, because I want their wool. And we still haven't got enough uh, stuff for actual clothes. And that is incre becoming incredibly important, because now, it's now five degrees outside. And it's no longer the cold snap. So yes, winter is very much coming, and we need to get some bloody warm clothes on. And some people are still wearing pretty shitty stuff. Like, I'm great as wearing that in cloth, just tribal wear. Um, Amazon's wearing lots of dead people's stuff, so at least at least she's warm. Um, wide awake, he is wearing a cowboy hat, but also tribal wear generally. We also need some trousers. If people are going to wear jackets, might actually need some trousers as well. Oh, you're wearing a. Olgi Tessa's wearing a wool jacket. You're the lucky one. Nobody else is. Also, there's no plant in that. I'm actually going to. I'm going to reinstall. That. I'm going to. This. That's just in the way. <laughs> I don't like it being there. That's silly. Oh, come, come on, do it. everyone needs to do their stuff. Oh, the muffalo! Hooray! The muffalo is now inside. Um, which is a good thing to see. Dabu's doing a cutting. I'm great is... Oh, finally, that's um, that's been sorted. Um, that's all been done. And... None of this has been taken care of. Uh, what actually is this stuff? Um, you can... Well, we'll steal all your clothes. Actually, there's no point, is there? Because the, the clothes make people unhappy. Hmm. Nobody's doing any butchering. Oh, come on, haul some animals. Somebody do some hauling. Um, I think everyone's just got more important things to do at the moment. Uh, food, that's important. I'm great is doing f fuck knows. Oh, they bother. Oh, it's Lydia. Hello, Lydia. What are you doing out here? Oh, oh, Gitesse is doing some hunting, which is good to see. Although, probably going to end up shooting the. You know, get a bit closer. Um, I'm going to draft you and put you there. And hopefully at a shorter distance, you may actually not hit the t Oh, you've gone. Uh, forget it. <laughs> um, go to try and try to recruit Paul instead, who is currently miles away. Huh. Can't help feeling I'm not being very efficient at the moment. Oh, Amazon has... Well, I'm not sure if it was Amazon or not, but somebody has killed a muffalo. Uh, we'll be able to get their leather if anyone does any bloody butchering. 
Have I actually got any bills to butcher people? Have I even got a butcher's table? Yes, I have. There it is. Um, butcher creature forever. So in theory, people should actually do that. Um, I've just got that set on forever, so... I think cooking is butchering as well. There we go, yeah. Why do you wake is the only person who does that? At the moment, which is not great. Why are you doing wide awake? Cleaning? Huh. Uh, wide awake. Cleaning is on two. Um. Well, I kind of really want you to do some cooking, so I have to do. I have to remember maybe to turn that back up. To, turn that back up to higher priority at some point. But I would really like wide awake to go and do some butchering. In fact, yes, there he is. Finally, he's going to do some butchering. Get ourselves. Oh, look at that. Was, yeah. I was trying to move these out of this dumping zone into my new thing, but nobody ever got around to doing that. But now it looks like things are actually happening. Okay, so finally in this episode, unless something major happens, um, we've mined out this. So what I'm actually going to do is I've got an idea. Um, I'm actually going to move the prison to here, but also divide it into two cells. Um, so we can get them out of harm's way. Keep any, keep any, like if you've got more than one prisoner, we can keep them separately. But also, reuse this as a more important type place, because this is closer to the action. H haven't quite decided what it's going to be, but if anyone, if, if new people turn up, we will need to put them in a, a decent house. So I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not going to be even, which is a bit of a nuisance. Uh, but never mind. I don't think the prisoners are going to care one way or the other, are they? So... If we put that in like that, <laughs> we could do that. That makes things even. That can be the cell door. That can be the cell door. Now we just need to get people to actually do some building. We will actually use up a lot of wood, but we've got plenty of wood here. It's snowing. It's actual proper snowing. Oh, God. I'm going to have to learn how to use the snow clearing facility in the game, which I've never used before. I've always gone for warmer climates than this. Snow clear area. Of which is currently... Hmm. Nothing's actually happening there at all, is it? Um, well, there's no... Huge! We'll keep... Okay, we'll do that. We'll keep snow clear here, just so we can get, we can actually get to the dumping stockpile. But other than that, I don't see any real point in worrying about it. But this is hard snow. God damn it. Amazon busy missing the target completely. Um, don't shoot your dogs. Well, okay, I'm going to have to stop them doing this. I think once once we've done this, um, I'm going to stop... I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to stop this now. I'm going to stop them being tamed. Um, because it's getting too cold. I don't really want our colonists wasting time. Um, so, if Amazon can just shoot that... Ah, she's fucked off. <laughs> Training Brett. Well, you get to live um, with a big bullet wound, admittedly. But yeah, I think we're going to have to abandon that for the winter now. Um, as it um, so swiftly approaches. For some reason in my mind I was thinking like winter would just switch on like a light switch on the first of winter, but of course it doesn't, does it? The end of autumn is pretty damn cold as well. I really wish we should haul that elephant, but maybe you can't really do much with that. Okay, so we'll pick this up again in the next episode. Um, this is almost, well, I say this is almost done. It's nothing of the sort. I need to put a floor in. So this is all being built, and we can move the prison in. I'll probably do this off camera, but we, I want to actually just get this prison sorted out and move Paul into his her new surroundings. Um, I just wish she'd damn well get recruited, that's all. Okay, so subscribe for future episodes of this, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.